Crystal Official here with another video. Today's video will be a little, a little bit something different. You guys, I made my own frontal, however you want to call it, lace front wig, all by scratch. Doing it myself. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. But yes, so this video, what I would like to do instead is just show you guys what I created. And I was not able to do every single step, so what I did was take pictures of each step. This video will be able to show you guys exactly what I did. So bear with me, and please make sure you tune in, thumbs up this video, and also make sure you subscribe. Now back to the video. So here's a couple of items that I used in the video. I made sure you guys try to see the exact name or even sometimes the price. But I will make sure that everything that I use, I will definitely put in the description box below for you guys who want to know exactly what all I used and what's the name of it. But yes, I have everything listed down below. So you guys, what I want to do is kind of narrate a little bit, but I will let you guys kind of watch and see what I did. I do have some video shots, so you will see that as well as pictures. So for those of you guys who are new to my channel, please make sure you do not leave this channel without pressing that subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up to help you grow out. Alright, okay, so you guys, I'm just showing you guys some more products that I'm using, that's all. And they're clearly clear that you guys can see it. And so I start the video. Now, I tried my first ball cap method, you guys, and I think I nailed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I nailed my ball cap method. This is the very first time I ever done this. Um, I've been watching a couple videos and I think I did it. Um, to start, I began using my mesh wig, um, wig cap and I used a size 23. And of course, everything is stated here what I used and how I done it. Okay. Now, what I've done was lay my hair, my frontal, onto the head and put some T pins in place so to hold it down. So this is all I'm showing you guys here. All I've done was place my frontal where I needed it to be. I measured it, of course, on myself and then put it in place. So then after I'd done that, what I did was lay it down. And I began to sew the back of the frontal down using my needle and thread, of course. And, of course, the T-pins the are still in place. What I've done after that was to cut that lace that was sitting right behind the thread off, making sure that I did not cut the the thread that I just sewn off because that will just screw up everything and I'll have to start all over. So what you guys are looking at now is just me messing with the hair, um, playing with it and showing you guys that it is attached and that the hair came out fine. Just showing it down, it came out fine. I removed the T-pins after I cut the lace off the back. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to place your tracks to begin sewing them down. So what you see here is me. Um, I sewn on the first tracks. And then what I did after was use a colored pencil um, to make lines and guide me. So that way I'm not laying them exactly on top of each other. I wanted to give myself some space. But then again, I wanted to make sure that it was close enough that I can use three packs of hair. So what you see here is me using the T-pins to hold them in place because it was a little difficult trying to just sew them on without you having anything hold them down. So you see me showing you guys the T-pins are holding them in place. And you see this reddish color that I used. Um, with this wig, I wanted to create um, a color here. I wanted to do some color, but I didn't want it to be too loud. So what I did was put that towards the middle. So I used one pack of the 1B and then I worked my way on that colored hair. Um, I will have that product in the description box below so that way you guys can know the number. Um, but then I began sewing on the, the last pack which is also 1B so that way you guys can see that the hair is not so much. Again, for you guys who are new to my channel and just now stopping in, your girl don't do this as much. I try to um, video everything that I do but it was very hard for me to do this at the time um, it was really late and I was just kind of like oh my gosh I need to do this right now I need a hairstyle but I wanted to show you guys what I was doing and of course it was my first time so I didn't want anything to look crazy um, 
So what I'm doing in here is just showing you guys that I began sewing on that 1B pack, the last pack, which is the third pack of hair onto the wig cap. You guys, for this to be almost two and a half packs on this um, wig, this hair is still flat. It looks great. It looks full. So I'm just excited that it's just looking wonderful, okay, and turning out great. So here you just see me messing with it, and I just want to show you guys that this is the hair that I'm using. Everything looks wrong, okay? And like I said, it was difficult for me to try to do it and film at the same time. So what I did was try to take pictures and video, do it both at the same time. Now I'm closing up the top, you guys. And once you close up the top, you want to make sure you add that track directly onto that last um, part of your your frontal, the back of your frontal. You want to make sure that it's so close that it becomes an appears seamless. So that's what you see me doing here. Just closing it up so it can appear seamless. Okay? Wow. Look at that, guys. So that's all I did here, you guys. I just kind of wanted to show you. And... Of course, like I said, I have pictures and videos, so that way you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I completed the full wig construction, guys, and it turned out pretty great. Now you can see me just like measuring it and looking at it and like proud of what I did. So now you can pluck the front of your hair for your liking if you like to. I then added the elastic band to help hold it in place because I did not use any combs, as you guys can see. I turned the wig inside out. Um, to show you guys that the weave cap came with a mesh um, at the back and I cut that piece off So this is my elastic band here. This is that silicone band that I showed you guys in the beginning This is what I used and they said it's supposed to be better, but here where it was two cap or two laces I cut that lace that came with the actual weave cap off and just left the lace that came with the frontal on So that's what I'm showing you guys right here showing you guys where I sew the elastic band onto the lace so that way can, once I put it on it holds in place for me since I don't have the combs okay then I wash the hair to give the hair a much nicer flow um, after I washed it you guys it looks awesome just look how the hairline is great wonderful um, I then parted the hair and showed you guys that this transparent lace is bomb. So I, I didn't have to do much since that it came pretty much ready to go. So I didn't do any knots, I didn't do any of that guys. Besides plucking in a little more that I needed um, to give it that look. And here you guys see me just measuring it and looking at it under with my cap and just playing with the hair because you guys, like I said, this is my first time making my own wig. I always do quick weave, so I wasn't used to like sewing it on and doing all of that, you guys. So I had to try it out, and I'm like, I'm excited. But yes, now it's time for me to cut my lace. And what I did here was go ahead and cut it in sections, and then you'll see me cut it. And look how this looks, guys. I cut it off. Now I'm gonna show you guys that it pretty much looks like a seamless cut. The only thing is, I needed to glue it down because it was a little loose and I wanted it to lay flatter. So what I did was go ahead and use my got to be glue. And I'm going to show you guys. I used my got to be glue around my edges and my got to be glue free spray. So I used that and added it around my hairline. I, I think I put a little too much. <laughs> but I blow dried it until it became a little tacky. And after that, because I noticed after I was done with it, it was a little flaky looking at these. Go back with alcohol clean it up a little bit but after I blow dried it for like five minutes to make sure it became tacky enough what I did was then um, hold it down and glue it in sections so you're going to see a little video of me showing you guys to glue it down lay it down in sections now you can see here what I mean when your hair like when you put too much glue it makes your forehead look a little you know greasy looking or with a little bit of glue looks uh, kind of ashy and flaky so I had to go back and clean it up with some alcohol pad and kind of clear it up so you guys this is the full construction of the wig tell me what you guys think about the hair um, and how I did you know this is my first time like I said doing my own frontal wig and 
I think it came out pretty decent, you know, for it to be my first time. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned with your girl. Lady Glow Official is here. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at lady underscore glow underscore official. And of course, tune in and always make sure you subscribe and like my videos. Thank you again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.